We are just beginning to understand the trauma endured by Indigenous children sent to boarding schools in Alaska. Eric Sol was at the Alaska Native Heritage Center, where there is a project underway to find some healing. The sound of healing. It fills the air at the Alaska Native Heritage Center. Boarding schools are something that affect every single Native person. Cedar shavings fall like tears. My brother Joe and I are from Heidelberg, Alaska. As the young brothers, that's Joe, this is TJ, carve Alaska's first boarding school healing totem pole. We don't even have a close to complete list of how many boarding schools there were in the state. Our estimates are upwards of over 100 schools in Alaska. The schools work to strip away. Strip away the culture from our indigenous peoples. If you don't have an, a cultural identity, or you really don't have an identity, and there's a place of hopelessness that comes about. Causing wounds still painful today. Looking and seeing that direct line between boarding schools, you know, that era, uh, and what it stood for, and the missing and murdered indigenous women. Uh, the crisis that you see here in specifically Alaska, you know, in our own backyard. The top figure up here is Raven. The poll's figures. We got Raven in human form. Will represent the safety of the children. This is the bear mother right here. Her two little bear cubs will be held in, in, her, in her hands right here. Work that is personal for the Carvers. Our mom went to a boarding school. She was, she's really quiet about it. We never heard any stories growing up. The healing pole is the idea of an elder affected by their boarding school experience. Many of our elders, they were great and amazing peoples. Uh, that that their own life should be what defines them, as opposed to something that may be, you know, very traumatic uh, that a lot of people did not come home from. But that should not be the thing that ultimately defines them. Right now, the pole represents the beginning of a journey. The only way that we get to that healing is first by knowing the truth. And then from truth, we understand what justice actually means. And throughout that entire thing, we not only find healing, but a way to thrive as all Native peoples. Carving a better future. In remembrance of not only those that went to school, uh, the survivors, and those that didn't come back. Uh, uh, on top of their descendants, which affects you know, us every single day. Eric Soule, Alaska's news source. And later this summer, the finished pole will be raised as a centerpiece of a healing garden at the Alaska Native Heritage Center.